Yo, what's going on guys? Um, it's time to make an update, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this is my first time doing one of these, so it's a little weird. But, um, Alex told me I should make an update on how we bowled today. Um, I don't know what he said in his video. I have yet to watch it, but I do know that, um, I don't know if he said we went bowling today. We went for some practice because practice <laughs> so he texted me a little while ago and told me like we should make an update video about how what we did and what we should work on stuff like that so today we walked in and we bowled for maybe an hour or two well i bowled with him for an hour or two i bowled more of myself because um i need more practice than alex does i need to get in the right mindset and once i get in that mindset and get locked in that's when my practice really begins if you're in, if you like play basketball or anything like that you know what i'm talking about once you lock in then your practice really begins. So we played. I'm not gonna say I had a bad day. I had a really pretty, I had really a pretty good day. I just had to focus. Um, and it was a different day. I had some new stuff I had to work on. Um, as I don't know if I've ever said this in the video, you probably see me holding the ball, but I uh, I use my Storm Electrify. This is the ball I use. This is my this is my strike ball. That's the ball I start with. That's the ball I'm most comfortable with as of now. <laughs> when I'm using this ball, this is what I'm comfortable with. This is what I can get in pocket with. This is what I am comfortable curving. I can change the rotation, all that stuff. And I like using this ball. But the only thing I really need to work on, well, I'm not gonna say the only thing because there's a bunch of stuff I need to work on, but what I really need to work on is controlling the rotation in my release of this ball. So I don't know if you guys know, you may or you may not, but with how you release and when you release the ball and with how much rotation you put on the ball affects every little detail of the ball going down the lane. If I'm releasing this ball, and my hand goes over that puts too much rotation on the ball and even if i get inside that pocket and hit where i want to it can um screw me over <laughs> like i know i did that today a couple of times and each and every time i think one time i got really lucky and got good enough pin action where all the pins just fell you can just it can screw you over it can uh leave that 10 pins standing or you worst case scenario you get a split and uh that's what i did a couple times so i really do need to work on that i need to work on controlling my speed controlling my power and controlling the rotation of the ball because without that control i would not get anywhere and i did I am a quick learner, so I did pick up on that very quickly, and I was able to change it. But once you bowl for a while, you start to get a little bit lazier, and that's really where I need to work. Um, where I would also say I need to work on is I have a, another ball. Oops, I have <laughs> I have another ball. This is my my deviate term oil. This is. A ball that I've had for a while, but I really tried to use it again today because for a while I wasn't good. In, I wouldn't say I was good enough to use it, but it was a sh bigger adaptation. I wasn't able to use it the way I wanted to use it, but today I was, and I was able to really feel the difference between this and the Electrify. The Electrify is much stronger with a later lane reaction, and I do appreciate having both of them. And then obviously I have my my spare ball which i do use for when i leave that 10 pin standing or if there is a five pin standing or if i just don't need very much to little curve that's what i'm using the thing i do need to work on is um uh, lane adjustments i know that at one point during the night um we had been on one set of lanes for a good amount of time and you know as, as you play on a lane and as you play that line your your oil starts to wear down and um I was doing, I got, I got a little too complacent with that. And uh, once we moved over, we had to move over to a different lane. And then the, the lane, the oil was thicker because it had been used less. I do need to work on that lane adjustment and knowing where to move. And I, I've gotten a little, I've gotten um, 
you stood a little bit where I'm able to know where my shot needs to be, even if I'm on a freshly oiled lane or if I'm on a dull lane. But I still need to work on that a good amount before I can get to where I am just hitting the shot each and every time because it still takes me maybe two frames, three frames to adjust to that, and that's not quick enough. Um, I also need to say I also need to say I'm I'm getting very comfortable with my spares, my spare ball, and using the DV8 because it's not as strong as a hook. It's it's a lot. It's a, I'm getting better with them. Otherwise, I'd say I'm really getting good with practice. I know um, a couple of days, a couple of times today, me and Alex have went at it. I think two or three games we were neck and neck up until the tenth frame, where we would almost, where we would almost like get into this really competition focused mindset. I know the last game we played, we were going at it. I think we went like five frames straight with just strikes and we were just going back and forth. And that's something that I really love. I love being able to compete with friends. I love being able to just get in that competition mindset because I don't know about anybody else, but I know specifically for me, when I'm playing a sport, when, whether it's bowling, basketball, football, when I get into a competition mindset, it makes me so much better than if I'm just messing around. Or I, I say that, I say that, but like um, I don't mean like I mean like it makes me better. Like I I do so much better. I like when someone's talking trash to me because then I can I just get the chance to be like, hey, what's up? And uh, Alex, if you are watching this, that's what you need to work on. You need to work on um, your mind state because uh, if I I didn't say anything today. But if I had like started talking trash, you you might have folded because you're not the greatest with your mental set. But anyway, um, I don't mean that to be harsh or anything like that. I just know I have a better mental like st standard than you do right now. And that's something that everyone can work on. It's just something different. Um, but yeah, I we had pretty good games. We were going back and forth and we do we do do that a, a good amount of times. And I'm proud of what I did today and what I've learned. Um, only other thing I need to learn is to let me take my jacket off just for a second. So my arm is, I've built a, a muscle with bowling. As you can see, it's come up. I just need to make that even stronger because I need to be able to last more games where I'm just rolling the ball. It's just getting up there each and every time because if I'm not using my whole strength or if I'm not using my whole strength if I'm not if I like my arm is tired after a while then I start to become complacent and then I can't get in the pocket but other than that I think I had a really good day I practiced with Alex I practiced with Mason and we were just practicing 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 and I days like that I do enjoy I don't think I hit I don't I think I, I think I did uh my highest score today which is not the best but it's 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 enough to make me proud. I think my highest today was 199. So I'm not too mad about that. And I know I kept up with the Alex a good a couple of times, which is something that I don't usually do. But either way, it's it's something like we all have stuff to work on. But um, anyway, that's all from me. I hope you guys did enjoy. And um, there will be more updates, maybe some more challenges, stuff like that. This is just something that I had to make really quick. As you can see, I'm... I probably just walked in the door. So, um, yeah. And that, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any tips, that'd be great for me too. Because, uh, not the greatest bowler, but I'm getting there. We'll see what happens one day. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. And, uh, peace.